Okay, grade 11s. In today's video, we're going to be looking at heading images. Okay, so here you can see in front of you, I've got um, HTML file that's been opened with my internet browser. In this case, it is uh, Google Chrome. And I've got it open in Notepad so I can have a look at my coding. Now, obviously, my reason for opening it like this is so that I can pop in the coding over here, save it, you know, make sure I've done that correctly, and then go and refresh my website to make sure that whatever I've done in my coding reflects on the actual website. And remember, um, what I always advise you to do is do it step by step. So if they're asking you to pop in something for the title, do it, save it, um, refresh the page and make sure that's done. And then you can go on to the next item. So we're going to be looking at adding images and I'll probably display at the bottom of the screen, the image tag itself. Remember that you don't have to remember all of these things because you will um, always get a tag sheet that will have that in it. Okay. So for this one, I'm going to add an image. We're just going to add it in anywhere. Um, I just want to see if they have a place here. Okay. So let's go over here and we were, um, let's see here are five secrets to being a star. Let's say we're going to pop in the image just underneath that. Okay. So what is our image tag? Well, we need to first open our tag and pop in IMG. Okay. And when we close that tag, it ends with our forward slash and our bracket. So that is me opening the tag. And on the other side, that's how we close the tag. So what are we going to put in in between those particular areas? First thing we're going to do is type in SRC for our source. So we need to indicate, yes, we want to insert an image, but where is this image actually located? And we're going to go equals. And then you need to, uh, we need to actually type in the name of the actual uh, picture. Okay, so let me just go over to where this is. And let's say we're going to use, I'm just going to take red star over here. I'm just going to copy that. Paste it in here. And you'll see once I'm done with this, that there's a reason why I'm doing it this way. Okay, so... There's the name, redstar.jpg. So when I type in the name, my inverted commas, and I'm going to type in redstar.jpg, and I'm going to close my inverted commas, img space src, redstar.jpg. Now let's go up, file, save. So now we know that change that we've made has saved, and we're going to refresh. And there you can see, there's my image. Okay, so now I've inserted my image over there. Now, they do mention that you should put in some sort of alternative. So when I go back to the coding over here, you can see I'm going to type in alt. That stands for our alternative text and equals. And I'm just going to say, um, you know, you can put in anything here. So I'm going to say image is broken. Uh, close my inverted commas and you can see when I go file save and I refresh the site nothing changes but your alternative only works when something goes wrong with the actual image so let's say I'm going to take the e out there so now we know that's incorrect but when I refresh the site do you see what happens it gives you that little image indicating the image is broken and now my alternative text shows up so even though the, the pitch is not working. My coding for my alternative section is working. So now I can just go in, change that again, file, save, refresh, and there my picture is back. So folks, this is how we insert an image into our HTML websites.